Hello everyone, welcome to Healing Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys this week, Sagittarius? I'm going to try to keep this short, under 30 minutes. Maybe shorter, yeah, this could be the one. Ooh, you've got new love coming in here. Ooh, there's an attraction, oh my gosh, very soon, okay. Wow, things are definitely looking up for you. This could be the one. Yeah, there's definitely an, a romantic uh, attraction. It says to enjoy, the, enjoy this moment fully. So it's an energy of clearly deciding what you want because it's coming towards you. You've got new coming in. So let's see. Yeah, see, there you are, Sag, tempering your passions, emotions, just staying calm. I'm kind of looking at things as this person looks like they could be your type. <laughs> yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, now's the time to release. Yeah, with very soon, clearly decide what you want. Okay, if you feel something is off, maybe it is. But I feel there's someone here that's just right. Why? Because there's an attraction. And I love the star. It's now's the time to release anything that no longer serves. Yeah, we have the birth of something new, the Empress. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got someone. I'm going to tell you something, Saj. <laughs> you could be the, a person here who is saying to temper this, this need to run away. <laughs> but I, I feel that with this, the card could be just facing that way. But that often means a lot to me. So we'll see. Uh, these ones are coming out. Yeah, look at this. It's also an energy of someone seeing the truth. Okay, has to do with win or lose, someone's coming in. But I do feel someone here could get a little overwhelmed. They might feel something is a little off at this, this point. So I don't know if you're the masculine or feminine, but I do feel it's an energy. This is often a Sag energy. It's an energy of not running away. Okay, don't get overwhelmed, just stay calm. Okay, temper your passions, be patient. Yeah, now's the time to release. If you are feeling like you can't be patient and you want to rush, you could get yourself overwhelmed and then end up, end up running away. And that may be what it's trying to say if you're the feminine. This is the birth of something new, the Empress. It's saying to be open to this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, it could be a lead. This could lead to marriage or commitment. Yeah, it's telling you to let go of this energy of... Um, not being patient and rushing because often with the knight of wands it's someone who rushes in and then gets overwhelmed but because i see the empress here if you are the feminine you know, you may have mastered that energy already you've released this this energy you're learning to be uh, patient <laughs> but if you are the masculine you have an empress here okay so this could be the one there it is i see someone here to, with friends and family uh, social circle. I see uh, gatherings, getting together, community and friends here. So with this Ace of Swords in the middle, I feel is an energy somebody win or lose. They see possibilities. This is someone who sees a, a knows a good thing when they see it. Yeah, but it's also someone who often, kind of the Empress often keeps their options open. So if you're the masculine, you might be looking at this, wanting to know some kind of truth. Okay. Uh, to make sure someone isn't seeing somebody else here. So it's all about truth, but it's about win or lose. And there's that light bulb going off. Aha. <laughs> yeah, the Empress knows a good thing when they see it. So, yeah, look at that. See, this, I'm going to tell you, you've got something really special. Happy home, happy life. It's an energy of somebody putting themselves out there, wearing their heart on their sleeve. Yeah, you've got the... You've got a King of Cups here. So someone is actually mastering the energy of the King of Cups. Yeah, this is someone kind, compassion. This is someone who wants love, I feel. So actually, I feel the masculine is tempering that need to run away. And see, things that no longer serve. <laughs> Don't rush. Be patient. Often, uh, Saj, you can be actually a lot more patient. If you feel something is off, you like you take off in the other direction. But I don't think that's going to happen here. No, I do see a soulmate connection, two people connecting, seeing eye to eye here. Wow, this is beautiful. Tell me about temperance. Yeah. Yeah, someone needs to let go of their ego and their pride. See, it's a runner. So somebody here is a little bit of a runner. They start to get a little overwhelmed and often run away. Okay, so it's to temper that. Just take your time. 
Yeah, the stars. Could be your hopes and dreams, everything you could ever want. See, I see this could be successful. Now, some of, the, of you who've, you know, dated a lot of people, been kind of playing the field in dating, um, you may have, haven't had anything really that's been successful. So that's why it's saying, because you often run away. So it's telling you to try something different here. Try something different. Definitely connect emotionally. Put yourself out there. Yeah, for the feminine, this is possibly someone different than your usual type. Yeah, I see playing it safe, being a little cautious. <laughs> you might feel something that's off. It's because they're cautious. Now, this could be someone who gets chased sometimes for the wrong reasons. Okay, vice versa. Make sure someone's chasing you for the right reasons if you're the, uh, the empress. Yeah, you see, just playing it safe, being a little cautious, but you might actually get what you want. See if you can be patient here. Yeah. This is a, Saj, we know you try to avoid uh, conflict with that energy, but I actually feel this is something really good here. Yeah, this person's stable. They could be the one. They're, they're, I feel this is someone who's pretty much ready. I just feel it's an energy of this person, I feel, focusing a lot on their money. Uh, it's an energy of someone who's been focusing a lot on their money. They've been chasing success. Okay, so like I say, um, one of you is in that energy. Yeah, someone who's been chasing success. So it does look like some of you, the masculine, could be um, actually uh, a Sagittarius. It's all right here but like i say the way the cards are reading it could be either or now the king of pentacles is definitely a person who often is grounded practical and sensible okay someone who's ready so this could be the one even if you're the feminine it definitely could someone who's successful yeah you got an emperor that's what's going on yeah it looks like they could be aries taurus virgo capricorn cancer pisces scorpio energy here as well but it's often, oh yeah, there's that cup. Some of you have several opportunities. You may have a choice. Some of you have choices. Or it's a person who's looking to see if someone is seeing someone else, if they have other options. Often the empress or the emperor has other options. So, But I feel this is two people who know a good thing when they see it. So, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, a lot of fantasizing, romanticizing. See, someone trying something different, being more romantic. Ooh. You got an emperor here that's going to be romantic. Oh, yeah. They're mastering all the elements. This is someone who's very wise, uh, possibly educated, but they're, they're analyzing the situation. They see the truth being more. This is obviously someone who kind of has dated a lot of people, but they're a runner. <laughs> okay. And it, in fact, it could be both of you here. If you are a feminine watching this, like I say, just kind of play it safe. Be a little cautious. Just be patient to yourself. Yeah, beautiful. Seven of Cups. Some of you could have a couple of options. Okay, but I actually feel it's two people going to drink from each other's cup here. But if there is a third person here, somebody definitely could have another option. So do watch that. Yeah, we've got, there it is. Masculine or feminine. Aries. Um, Sag, either or. Wow. We know the Queen of Wands is someone who knows what they want, generally not afraid to go after it. But we've got a King of Swords analyzing this cup. <laughs> They're looking at it. See? Mm-hmm. This is someone who knows. It's time to try something different, something romantic. I think it's a person who just works a lot, chasing success. And they are successful, so I do feel they have a lot of people chasing them. So that could be what they're looking at. If they feel something is off, they will they will run away. <laughs> very analytical, very thoughtful. Yeah, it's an energy of cooperation, compromise. They're looking to see if someone's compatible. They look for the truth. It's also somebody coming up with an idea. Now, often this is someone who's looking at a bunch of choices, options to do with ideas, romantic ideas. I don't really feel they have other options. I mean, they could, but I feel this is someone who's kind of tempering that chase, ready to try something different. Yeah, it's a person who definitely works a lot. They're an emperor. I feel they're just ready, ready for some romance instead of focusing all on their work. But for the feminine, this could be the one. Mm. 
both people are looking at that, I feel. Two people here who know a good thing when they see it. Yeah, so it's an energy of two people working together. So I see building. You could work with this person, to be honest. But I do see a house, a home, a family working at home. This is someone who's looking at all the possibilities of this connection. Okay, They're definitely looking... Um, that opportunity for like dating, what to do, where to go, things like that. Tell me more about the Queen of, of Wands here. This is someone who's looking at the possibility, how this could all play out. It's very nice. Yeah, King of Pentacles is someone who kind of likes to plan and prepare ahead. Not being super spontaneous, I feel. Mm-hmm. But I feel it has to do with uh, coming together. Oh, yeah, I don't think this is someone who, it's romantic. They're not going to spare any expense here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they definitely want someone where they have something in common. So you could, maybe somebody here has dated someone that you already know in that social circle. But I feel the common is probably friends and family, the people you connect with. And I do think you've got this. But those of you who have a choice, okay, and you actually have two people, it's telling you to choose the person who comes in, um, takes you out on a date. They're a little more romantic. They're in touch with their feelings and emotions. They're not afraid of telling you how they feel, what it is they want. Okay, those are all the things you want to be looking at here. You want to make sure they're stable. But I really feel we're dealing with just an emperor energy here. Yeah, see someone who comes in right, ooh, with romantic. See, very nice. Putting in some effort. This is someone who wants to build. So this is two people together building something. Oh, what else is it telling me? It's trying to tell. There's so much attraction. See, the romantic, you attract romantic love by, enjo by enjoying this moment fully. So it's about enjoying each other's company, enjoying the connection, talking, seeing eye to eye. You're looking to see if you're both right for each other. So yeah, very nice. Somebody's got some Libra in their chart, possibly here. See, someone who's seeing the truth, and it's about being more romantic. I feel this is just a person who's ready for something different. But I do see they're looking at possibilities. This is somebody, to me, looks almost like they're planning, like um, reservations or something. <laughs> okay? Yeah. I, I actually feel this is someone who's pretty sure what they're going to do here. Yeah. So there it is again. Someone trusting their inner knowing. They already know the answers they're seeking okay they know they have to put in some effort it's going to take some work they have to show okay that they're willing to do the work but it's going to take both people you're going to have to show each other yeah you might even know who this is they're in your social circle okay masculine or feminine energy let's have a look at the attraction beautiful just watch out for anyone who keeps secrets just watch out for anyone who keeps secrets Okay, that's the only thing, but I really don't feel, without the moon here to back that up, I don't feel they do, where someone is keeping their options open. But it's, I mean, if you're only having a date with someone, just testing things out, see, testing out to see if you like each other, it's fine to keep the options open. Um, you know, you don't just tell anybody that you're kind of interested in, you may have had a date with maybe the weekend before, a few days before, all of a sudden, sorry, I can't see anymore because I'm going on another date with someone. You see what I'm trying to say? So it's okay to keep your options open uh, within reason. So yeah, this could lead to a committed relationship, some sort of commitment. Yeah, see the truth. There's an attraction, win or lose, both of you. Yeah, there's a lot of attraction. Beautiful, yeah. Clearly decide what you want, anything. Release anything that no longer serves. That's the most thing. Know your worth and value. So this, this person's, this emperor's hopes and dreams. I feel both of you. This is gorgeous. It's like the stars are aligning. Something is aligning. You have something in common. Now, it could be where you just are out with friends and you may just connect with this person too. But they're definitely going to be asking you out because this is someone who knows. They already know they need to put in the effort. Mm -hmm. And if you do work a lot, you know, like I say, they're looking at all the possibilities, picking a date here. You're going to have a couple dates. Yeah, there it is. There's definitely a physical attraction. Very soon, decide what you want. See the truth, win or lose. <laughs> 
Well, we know that the emperor likes to win. We also know the empress does. So, yeah, beautiful. Let's have another look at the empress. This is someone who's never got what they wanted. Okay, but also, like I say, it's an energy. The empress is a little cautious. So it's a little bit of a test just to see. But it's telling, if you are a feminine Sag, take it slow. That's what I feel. Temper your passions, temper your emotions, and just you know, kind of check this out because I think this is fabulous. Tell me more about the Empress, the feminine energy here. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so this is somebody who definitely, yeah, see it's an energy of timing, something, timing, someone's being a little cautious. So now this could be somebody who's um, moved on and broke free from somebody where something was off or they had something on and off. But it has to do with the timing and a windfall of abundance here. Yeah, and then we have, yeah, so someone here, maybe not so sure. Thanks, but no thanks. But I actually feel this is someone, maybe it's somebody who actually you missed an opportunity with. A little bit of mystery, confusion. Oh, someone could be keeping a secret. What would the secret be? Yeah, but there's multiple opportunities. Somebody here could have multiple opportunities, Okay. It is possible. I do see some of you, but I also see something on and off where somebody is going thanks but no thanks to somebody who just comes in looking for attention. So there is obviously another person here. Yeah, it's an energy of someone releasing things. Now the Empress knows their worth and value, but so does the Emperor. Okay, It's not all just about the Empress all the time. <laughs> Tell me about the emperor and we'll sort that out. Yeah, it's incoming. It's very fast, very fiery. See, temperate. Someone needs to slow down. And quite honestly, if you both have some Sag in your charts too, because it does look like it's possible. And I also see someone who could be Aries here too, or maybe even Scorpio. But it's an energy of just testing things. It's like a test, going on a date, just seeing. See, that's what I feel this is all about. Yeah. This so is somebody, yeah, I'm definitely ill. someone with a little Virgo where they're just in the energy of spending a little time alone, soul searching their life path or looking for clues. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to know the truth. Now, it's possible they could be talking uh, secretly <laughs> to their friends and family, trying to find some things out about you. So it's an energy of trusting the intuition, your inner knowing. You probably know who this is. They're probably talking to other people. Uh, trying to find out some things. You're in the same social circle or community. Yeah, see, this is someone looking to see if someone started something new because we have the Empress. But this is someone shining a light. See, they're looking for clarity, finding out the truth. Now, be careful of anyone if they find out the truth that you, the feminine, are very successful. They're chasing you for the right reasons. Or this is someone who gets chased a lot because they're successful financially. So they're very careful that someone has the right intentions because it's about having the right intentions, whether someone's coming in for the right reasons. So feminine and masculine here. Wow. I, so there, that's what was going on here. See, someone who comes in very quickly, very fiery, very passionate. And it's very spontaneous. So here I was saying it's not spontaneous, but it's going to be. But this is the energy of just slowing down. Yeah, it's often a person who rushes in and gets overwhelmed. So if you start the feminine, if you start to feel a little overwhelmed, if you're a Sag and then you kind of back out for a while, uh, there could have been a missed opportunity here. Okay, but it's I feel it's about avoiding that with temperance. Now tell me about the energy with this King of Cups, which is all connected. Yeah, we got, this is somebody all about love. They want love. This is two people who want love. So... This is two people. There's the cup. Now, I don't know if one of you started something here and somebody wasn't sure if someone was someone's type. See, it has to do with your type, trying a different type. So some of you may be the feminine. You may be into that where you're ready to try some a different type of person or it's somebody who is just right. They are your type. Compatibility. Compatibility is important. But it's about going down this path, two people building each other up. Something is going to build between you. I, I feel it's almost like the energy is building more than anything here. If you don't know who this is, you're going to find out they're in your social circle. But I feel like for those of you, you already know the answers you're seeking. Somebody here is looking for the truth. They're looking for clarity. 
okay to see if you're if you're single or if you're you know seeing anybody else but you can see somebody in that king of cups queen of cups both fantasizing here you're both fantasizing and romanticizing <laughs> trying something different being more romantic both of you not rushing okay oh yeah you know i i really feel like this is quite an interesting read i feel like there's two people who are really the same here so tell me a little gemini down here too let's have a look at the lovers see very soon oh my goodness yeah fantasizing and romanticizing here very soon yeah some of you probably already connected with this person you probably know who they are um yeah, very romantic though. Like I say, I feel they're going to spare no expense, but the only issue is not rushing in. See, is somebody here, and I honestly, I feel that we got two people who like the chase, but I feel the Empress is kind of like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, making sure that you both have each other's, that you're both understand what's going on, because often with this. This is someone who gets chased and they often trust their intuition. They know when something is off and I feel both of you. Uh, but I don't think anything's going to be off there. I don't. I just feel like it's about slowing down a little bit. Not being a runner. Not getting overwhelmed. See, the Empress came out again. Not being overwhelmed. Being open. Yeah, see? Being patient. Making someone be patient. Okay. Some of you have met this person. You're just patiently waiting for this person to come in. And I see a lot of happiness and joy. They're looking for clarity. They see it. What they see makes them very happy. And I do feel they could be talking to other people, definitely. But so much happiness and joy. Yeah. And I gotta, it could be just a new person for some of you. But let's have a look at the high priestess and see. Some of you might know who it is in your social circle. But it could come in very quickly where you might not realize who it is until you um actually um have a face-to-face -face conversation so there's going to be some kind of communication it just comes in out of the blue yeah you got a we've got a king of wands here so someone who win or lose this person's coming in they're trusting their intuition that someone is just right i feel they've checked you out in some way here but they're definitely in that social circle but if you have a choice yeah, I mean, I to be honest here with these choices, I mean, I do see the romantic energy and I do see the Queen of Cups. This is two people who you know, like to be emotionally fulfilled. They like to talk and share all their feelings and emotions. Um, but I just see having a first date. In fact, I can see a second date. But I do feel we have a couple people that possibly work a lot. Somebody works a lot. That's the only thing. Yeah, but I don't see excuses. I don't see anything. I just see someone knowing. They know. They already know. They have to put in the effort that it's going to be a bit of work. They're going to have to work for it. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> and I think they're willing to. Okay? So, oh, I see. That's what it's been trying to say. Yeah, they know that they have to work for it. Yeah, they have to be slow and patient slow and steady wins the race if they want to have success wow yeah look at that they're determined though they're determined that it's successful they're planning preparing i don't think this person's normally super spontaneous i feel they're they're coming in with the king of pentacles energy practical sensible tell me more about the six of wands this this really looks good, yeah. So that definitely energy is someone taking a pause, checking things out. See, they're going within, a little introspection. This is someone who's figuring out what makes them happy first before they come in. So they're coming in right. See, it's an energy of figuring out what it is that makes them happy. Okay, but I also feel this is someone about making someone else happy. It's both of you figuring out, can you make this person happy? You, It's making each other happy, but making yourself happy first. Okay, knowing what you want here. This is quite the reading, Saj. I didn't expect this for you. So I'm going to just pull out one more card. Yeah, there it is. Express your love. The first one that wanted to come out. See, it's about two people expressing yourselves. Okay. Don't rush to it. 
okay? Now, I think we got two people who are going to fall for each other very quickly. In fact, you could be seeing each other already. Everyone's path's a little different, but there it is. It's about expressing your feelings. See, too, we got both people fantasizing, romanticizing. It's very soon. Both of you see in the truth that's here twice as well so there's a little mirroring going on too that's why i kind of feel like a lot of you might know who it is so but it's it's an energy of someone going ahead and making that romantic gesture Ooh, very nice very very nice so wherever it is that you've been going and socializing you might want to go there unless you've already connected okay you may get a text message or a phone call okay it could be actually somebody who um, is relaying a message. It could be, like I say, some kind of gathering someplace where the two of you connect. Because it almost looks like there's somebody's house home, somebody else's, or somebody someone works for. Okay, friend of a friend, things like that. Yeah, where you could actually meet at someone else's home. Because I don't see someone inviting someone to their home. Um, I see this happening someplace out where, where people socialize, where they spend money. It's a safe place. But it's an energy of someone putting in the effort too, showing someone they're reliable. See, they're going to show someone they're reliable and stable. They're staying on course. They're determined. They're not being ruled by their emotions. They're balancing out the emotions. So some of you may have had a person who rushed in, maybe became a little overwhelmed. I mean, it could be somebody who wanted to approach you and talk to you. One of you felt overwhelmed, that's for sure. So it looks like a situation maybe that didn't happen at some point, and it's going to happen. But it's right there, the star, someone's hopes and dreams, everything they could want. But it's an energy of knowing what you want and releasing anything that uh, no longer serves. So if you feel something isn't right, the situation doesn't serve, then don't invest in it, okay? Okay. That's what it's saying for the feminine. I mean, it could be the masculine too, but it's saying don't invest in it unless you're sure this is what you want. If you know who this is, okay? But I see attraction and I see someone expressing their feelings. Yeah, someone waiting for someone to express themselves. <laughs> so something worth waiting for. See, seeds planted in the past. That's what it's all about. So yeah, I do see positive change. Yeah, change for the better, a lot of growth, financial abundance. See, someone's releasing. Both of you, look at that. See, this is something coming full circle here. You know, the star, someone's hopes and dreams, everything they could ever want. So this is someone who's waiting. Yeah, but it looks like definitely could be just a situation coming to fruition. Yeah, I think you're both romanticizing. But I wish you guys the very best. Okay, get out and socialize because I do see where you might just uh, run into this person, connect with them when you're out socializing or in a workplace situation. Somebody may have a business going into their work. Someone's been checking someone out here. Okay. Yeah, but don't, if you feel like this situation doesn't serve, that this person's not your type, it feels off then don't even go down that path. That's what it's basically saying. Okay, but I don't really feel for most people it's going to work that way. I think the attraction is quite strong. And I feel with this chariot, someone's determined here. Yeah, very determined, very strong willpower, strong mind. Anything this person needs to let go of, they can. Because why? It's their hopes and dreams. So take care and we'll see you soon.